Hello, today we'll be explaining why capillary condensation is dependent on pore geometry and curvature. For starters, what exactly is capillary condensation? You've probably never noticed that condensation occurs throughout our daily routines. For instance, while you take a hot shower, condensation occurs all around you. Another example includes when you're trying to sip on an ice cold beverage, condensation actually occurs at the side of the mug. Now, let's take a look at the technical aspect about capillary condensation. This is a cross-section of a capillary tube. How capillary condensation begins is when the vapor phase particles enter the capillary. Please take note that in a confined space, there is higher van der Waals forces of attraction between each particle. This means that less pressure is needed for condensation to occur. Eventually, the vapor pressure particles stick to the wall of the capillary, mainly due to adhesive forces. As more vapor pressure particles enter the capillary, the vapor pressure particles attract to each other, thus forming a multi-layer adsorption. This process continues until a meniscus forms at the liquid vapor interface, as shown in the diagram. This phenomenon can best be described by using the Calvin equation. The Calvin equation describes a change in vapor pressure due to a curved interface. This is the Calvin equation, with all the terms explained below. Please take note that in this context, only the terms in orange have effect towards capillary condensation, whereas the rest are kept constant. Hence, capillary condensation is greatly affected by equilibrium, vapor pressure, and a mean curvature of meniscus. Next, we'll be explaining the effect of pore geometry on capillary condensation. In both natural and synthetic porous structures, the geometry of pores and capillaries is almost never perfectly cylindrical. Porous objects often contain networks of capillaries, for example, paper, untreated wood, and sponge. Since the curvature of equilibrium meniscus is affected by pore geometry, the Kelvin equation should be represented differently every time the meniscus changes. Now, we'll be explaining the effects of curvature on capillary condensation. Capillary condensation is mainly affected by the radius of the meniscus, which can be obtained by extrapolating a circle from the meniscus in a capillary and measuring the length of the radius. The Kelvin equation indicated that Inside a capillary, as equilibrium vapor pressure increases, the mean curvature of meniscus increases as well. This creates a much flatter surface, hence more capillary condensation can occur. Here are some applications related to capillary condensation. For instance, sintering is basically a shaping process for a material using heat. It's related to capillary condensation due to the adhesive forces between dust particles and solids. Another application includes petroleum refining. Because during the distillation process, components are separated by selective vaporization and condensation. No trees were harmed in the making of this video. Thanks for watching.